Hey, I was just going to do a video where I pray in the spirit and uh, prophesy concerning the presidential race. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. There will be absolutely nothing to hold back the goodness of the mercy of God in the revelation of the presidential race. There's going to be absolutely nothing that can stop the Holy Spirit's power in demonstrating and turning our nation to righteousness. As we have believed, as we have spoken, so shall it be unto us. As it is written, so it shall it be. Okay, I'm seeing uh, behind my eyelids, I see one, two, three lines. And they're vertical white lines. And there's one that appears on the top right. Uh, there's going to be three different people that uh, bring in the new president as God has assigned and uh, there's only going to be one small opposing force to it but that will be overturned also Father God I pray for the three strand cord that's not easily broken in the name of Jesus Father God for the president Father God in the name of Jesus I bind that opposing force in the name of Jesus I command it to be uh, broken, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I loose angels, warrior angels, right now to bind that thing and uh, break it. Yes, Lord God, light from above. I see uh, the stronghold over the nation, the covering. Uh, there's a scripture about the covering of darkness that will be destroyed. The covering of darkness over the mountain of the United States will be destroyed. Thank you, Lord, for the overturning, Lord God. Jesus went into the temple and he overturned the money changers' tables, Lord God. And Jesus is going to go into the body of Christ, into the churches, and overturn the money changers' temples, as well as in government society and all areas of our culture. And something about the spice cinnamon. Cinnamon, uh, I got some words about cinnamon, buying cinnamon sticks. I know that cinnamon is going to be a huge economic factor in the new economy that arises. Cinnamon is going to be one of the most valuable items in the world at one point. And uh, it's very wise to hold on to your cinnamon. <laughs> Jesus became sin for us so we can eat a lot of cinnamon and enjoy it. I see walls breaking, overturning walls breaking. I see a new platform built, new platform for the new president in the name of Jesus. I speak that into being, Father God, with the power of my words. I see it rising out of the ashes of the impoverished, poor countries. So they will seek out the answers in prayer for the president. So things are going to happen absolutely different than anyone can conceive of. So there will be answers, true answers, and prayers will be answered in succession. I had a dream a while back where God said, uh, after this very difficult transition, there will be miracle after miracle. And uh, I don't know exactly when the miracles will start. I've got a few dates. I know November 19th is going to be a huge date for the, the entire nation and the world as far as the father revival and the bridal movement and the new breed movement one prophet once told me that if you want to if you want to bring a move of the spirit or a move of god you have to preach the scripture on that that subject and then god will move after that so uh, you know the scripture for the new breed is the scripture on the new creation and if you look up the new creation in the Greek it says it's actually uh, another way to say it would be refreshing reformation 
And uh, that's absolutely what's about to take place. There's going to be a refreshing reformation. Uh, and what happened with uh, 1906 at Azusa Street, the baptism of the Holy Spirit came, and it was popularized, and everybody was doing it, and the whole, uh, there was Pentecostal uh, Church of God, uh, Assembly of God denominations formed out of that movement. But uh, we've come to the end of the Pentecostal uh, season of the church age, and we're coming into something completely new. And it's going to involve time travel portals, shape-shifting, and various sorts of miracles that are going to be pretty incredible and uh, mind-blowing. I also had a dream about uh, 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 police officers being carried out of a meeting crying, uh, absolutely upset over the revelation. They couldn't take it. And uh, the, it, it takes a lot of uh, soul power as far as uh, your mind, will, and emotions to conceive and understand of the revelations to come because they're so powerful and grandiose. But uh, I was designed for this. I was made for this. I think this way because God made me this way. And uh, he formed in me the revelation knowledge so that I can preach it, teach it, and walk in it. He told me years ago, I want you to be a walking prophecy, and he, that's what he's going to make me. I'm going to walk and talk the gift of prophecy, and uh, uh, so the Bible says that the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus, and uh, without Jesus, you have false prophecy, but with Jesus, all things are in him, are yes and amen. There's no, no as a, a computer, the computer language is zero and one, that's no and yes. But in Christ, it is yes and amen. That's one, one equals two. That's you and God. Everyone needs to read the book of Hebrews concerning the rest of God because uh, as you enter into rest, the miracles will begin and you will cease from your own works. Yes, Lord, I see... Uh, the Hebrew letter, uh, yeah, for, it's like the Hebrew letter, the, the letter that uh, is symbolic of the doorway. Uh, that Hebrew letter is very important. I need to look into that. And uh, there's uh, there's an interest to the gospel. People are going to find uh, the Bible very interesting in the future because of the revelations that come out of it. Some of the things I know about shapes and colors are actually bait uh, for people that, uh, for fish, uh, to catch new fish that are uh, very into the intelligent, see a type uh, society and uh, into uh, studying in science and there's a scripture that says uh, there's some science that's so-called science that's not science at all that's of the enemy but uh, the science of God is a very real reality and uh, he works by shapes colors numbers and dreams and visions and he is a spirit God the Father is a spirit he has a spirit body but Jesus has a physical body and uh, he, have you seen Jesus you've seen the Father